A new office procedure to unblock clogged sinuses is shown here by using balloon technology. This uses local anesthesia in the office as a quick recovery with no tissue removal. General anesthesia is avoided. Through a sublabial or canine fossa approach, which is making a small puncture underneath the lip, the front wall of the cheek or maxillary sinus is entered. Above we can see the roof of the sinus, which is the floor of the orbit showing the orbital fat. Along the side wall of the sinus, we see two small openings where one of them is the natural opening where the sinus drains. It is way too small for the sinus to drain, causing the recurrent symptoms in this patient for the past 20 years. She's been on multiple antibiotics, but despite this, still has recurrent infections. So a, using the special endoscope, a balloon catheter is passed in a side channel, and this will be passed into the natural opening. Th this back opening uh, is not the natural opening because the balloon is unable to pass into the nose freely. It is backed out, and then the balloon is passed through the uh, other opening in front of it, and here we can see that the balloon easily passes into this space into the nose called the infundibulum, which is where three sinuses drain. This is a critical bottleneck area that is narrow that needs to be widened. The balloon is inflated to about 12 atmospheres of pressure, and then the balloon is deflated, and the balloon catheter is backed out. We can see that the opening has been widened and this should allow the sinus to drain freely and lessen the frequency, duration, and intensity of the infections. This procedure uh, has no tissue removal and uses direct endoscopic balloon dilation of the natural sinus ostea.